you know, the people that did these terrible things are dead. The people that taught them and the people that are bringing more in, they're still alive. So in answer to your question, the long way around is we don't need apologies. We need confrontation. Someone to say to another person sitting next to them in the pew, you know, stop what you're doing. Stop teaching our children to hate. Stop teaching our children to make bombs. Stop, stop teaching that there is only one way. Stop it. Let's not make it about religion. Let's make it about behavior. I don't care what you believe. If you do good, you're on my team. I don't care if you believe that the mothership's going to come down and beam you up. I don't care what you believe. I don't care if you put aluminum foil on your head and you think that's God talking. But if you pick up trash and you show up at public meetings and you go to church and you contribute to your society, buy your fruits, you shall know them. And that's what I believe. Do you think there be, ought to be more uh, contrition and apology from the Islamic community in America over the acts performed in, in the name of their faith? No. I think they should acknowledge that there is a renegade group of people that take the Koran and have hijacked their faith and put together a political scheme that really is destructive and many ways performs human evil. I wish they would acknowledge it. I wish they would do what we have been asked to do, which is purge your own. Regulate, purge your own, get the folks out who really do destructive acts and who do things that destroy cities and families and people. We read just enough of the Koran and understood just enough of different religions to know one thing. You know them by their fruits. If they say they are teaching, then there should be scholars of different sorts of religion in their own, not people that know how to make better bombs or make better explosive devices or that recruit suicide bombers. You know them by the fruits, the Bible says that. I'm not one of those people that preaches love. I'm not one of those people that preaches at all, quite frankly. That the next two generations don't have that value this country and the principles, free enterprise and liberty, personal responsibility, individuality, providence, the protection of nature and nature's God the Declaration of Independence says. And you know what? We need to get back there to study it and to teach our children. How you organized uh, the event this evening? How many people were involved? You're looking at her. All this tonight was organized by one person, you? Yeah, I'm the committee. The nice thing is I asked for some help and somebody said call so and 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 so called and we got 50 chairs and so and so called and volunteered to put the stage up and so and so called cut her fee in half and said okay I'll sing but I'm the one that put this together I'm the committee of one so if anybody says you can't do anything if it's in your heart this was my vision I don't know where it came from I don't know but I said I want to put something that's beautiful and decent and respectful and American and patriotic and loving and kind and decent and we're going to do it at night time because people like candles. So, me and my dog Dudley and the support of some very nice people who said, yeah. That's Americans. We're people who say, yeah. Let's roll. You didn't address anything of, about the cause of the 9-11 uh, uh, attacks here tonight. What are your thoughts? You're right. I didn't address anything about the cause of 9-11, although I did mention that Al-Qaeda terrorists did hijack the planes. The fact is, is that I think the whole controversy about appeasing Muslims or offending a certain group of people. That's not what this is about. This is about one thing, human decency and rights. You have rights, but that doesn't make it right to do things like, if I may be controversial right now, aside from the memorial, and that is that 
The Westboro Baptist Church has a right to show up at the funerals of soldiers. The Ku Klux Klan has a right to march down Skokie, through the streets of Skokie, Illinois. Terry Jones and the Dove Outreach Church has a right to burn Kur Korans. But that's not decent. Rights give us authority. But decency requires respect and love. And, quite frankly, I think we should put that in the water right now. Coordinator of the San Fernando Valley Patriots, we are an affiliate of the National Tea Party Patriots. It was the original Tea Party Patriot group from which many others have used the name. But the beliefs again are conservative, constitutional, and liberty. And it's www.teapartypatriots.org.